What's up everyone, it is Calamity and today we have to talk about a pretty sorry affair. We need to talk about the Smash community. Now I'm sure as many of you know, the Me Too movement has recently moved over to YouTube, Twitch, gaming in general, calling out bad creators for their, for their nasty deeds. And while there have been a number of false allegations, remember guys that the majority of these are generally true. And overnight it seems that the Smash community has been hit with a lot of allegations, with a lot of receipts, and it would appear that those receipts have been checked, and this is very legitimate stuff. Now, I want to point out by saying that there are actually too many people to mention in this, and that's crazy, and at the time of recording this, this is the best collection of names that I have found, um, but as this story develops, this could keep on going. And that's really kind of scary to think about. So a number of pro players, creators and commentators have been called out for sexual acts towards children and accusations of sexual assault on various women. Now, the most notable names that I can find at the moment are as follows. Nero, D1, Anti, Kitaro, J1 Tails, Sleepy K, Cinepi, Zaxel, Alois, and Cruise Control. This is absolutely shocking. Now, I'm not going to get too into the details of what's happened. Uh, there are plenty of channels out there where you can find that, but I don't really want to go into the personal stuff that's happened to these people, um, you know, reading the accounts and everything. But Nero has had accusations of grooming a 14 or 15 year old boy. Um, this has been verified. There are receipts and the receipts line up, as I said, and it's, it's awful that these people in this community have been able to do this. Um, and I just want to point out, and it was Omni that said this, and I think it's very, very valid. I don't think Smash tournaments are a particularly safe place for women or children. And that's something that I really don't want to have to say because I'm a Smash streamer, I support this game, I support the competitive scene, I want to be part of the competitive scene more and more. But as you may be aware, there is a very commonly known thing that Smash players tend not to shower. Now you're going to say, that's weird, why should they not be allowed near women and children? And let me just kind of clarify this. Um, this isn't me trying to be horrible and shame people, but it would appear that Smash players who play on the competitive scene for the most part, I'm not blanketing everyone with the same brush. I'm certainly not like this, and I put God knows how many hours into Smash. But they don't have very good personal hygiene, they don't have very good interpersonal relationships, and they don't really know how to talk to people. And I think that's quite the case in women. And I was recently watching Alana's videos. If I say Alana, you know who I mean. And um, she was recently talking about how, there's, how TV kind of fantasises that no matter how hard you try, you can get the girl and all that kind of thing. And I think a lot of these people believe that. They don't have fully real world expectations. They don't know how to treat women properly. And I've got to say, guys, you need to buck your fucking ideas up. Women deserve to be treated exactly the same as men. In fact, both men and women need to be treated better than we treat them now. And it needs to be equal. And this kind of behaviour is absolutely disgusting guys and it's i shouldn't even i'm not even gonna say you should be ashamed of yourselves because you should you sh just should it's not something that needs to be said to you and of course there's the stuff with with kids i mean what the fuck is wrong with you people these are children these are people that look up to you these are the people we have to protect what goes through your head when you start to solicit a child? And this is what I mean by Smash tournaments, because you have such a wide age range of people. You have children interacting with adults in areas that there's often alcohol involved. And I know that there are legal age limits, but is a, does a predator care about legal age limits? And it's just... It's scary because it's one of those things where you always thought like, God, anywhere else, that'd be a really weird scenario. But it's because we're playing Smash. And no, that's that's hit home, guys. That's happening. And that's obviously been happening for some time. 
there's no way that any of these people, these horrible people, have been getting away with this without other people knowing. And I'm not the biggest believer in cancel culture because I don't think it's fair to judge someone on their mistakes from 10 years ago. So, for instance, with the whole Jenna Marbles thing recently, um, I feel sad that Jenna Marbles has left YouTube because I feel like she was genuinely a good person. And she did something that was so awful and insensitive a long, long time ago and has clearly changed as a person. And you can see that through the course of her content. Shane Dawson, I'm not too sure where I'm sitting on that at this point. I'm, I have thoughts, but I'm not a commentary channel. But with this, actually, I don't think cancel culture is going to be enough here. These guys should be banned from tournaments. They should not be able to have a space on YouTube or in the commentary game, but they should also be in a prison cell. And I think that really needs to happen. Again, I'm not on attacking people falsely i believe the stuff with angry joe was a false accusation that's happened recently but you kind of once the receipts are there doesn't matter how much stock these people have in their community put them in a prison cell i just think the situation is awful and my heart goes out to everyone affected and i know this is affecting people personally in my discord in my streams who have looked up to these people for so long and now, bang, fucking nonce. And I do want to take this opportunity to say to anyone that watches my streams, you have me to talk to. You, My DMs are open, Insta, Discord, Twitter, even on my Facebook page. But I'm not a therapist, guys. I'm not a medical professional. So in the description of this video will be links to people you can talk to. Um, some really good organisations to help people. And I'm going to try and link a few from around the world because obviously I know my audience isn't entirely UK based, even though I'm from there. So hopefully those links will be able to help you. But if you do want to speak to me, uh, please feel free to. I felt I had to speak about this because I am a Smash streamer. And all right, I'm fairly new on the scene, but my audience, I'm proud of my audience. And I think I have a wonderful little community and some of them have been really affected by this. And I wanted to really give my thoughts because it's awful. And I just, I'm so sorry for anyone that's had to go through this. It's just, it's terrible. And the rest of the community, you know, stands with you. In saying that, I want to make something very clear to the community. I do very well in this community because I'm a 27 year old streamer. If I go to a tournament, I'm not out of place. But women and children are, and you guys have to adjust your behaviour. It's not acceptable, okay? Women aren't objects, and what the fuck do you even think you're doing, Nick, going near kids? Like, what is wrong with you? How fucking messed up are you? You're sitting at the top of this community. You, you can do fairly well in your romantic endeavours, I'd imagine. Children. Children and people who are not giving their consent. You need to take a good hard look at yourselves and you need to take a good hard look at yourselves in a prison cell because that is the best thing for you. Um, it's just awful and I'm so sad that this has hurt so many people in my community. So I really want to put this out there and I hope everyone is doing okay. Uh, as a result, we're not gonna do Saturday Night Smash um and i'm not gonna be doing any smash on sunday smash will resume next week but for this week we're gonna kind of cleanse it a bit cleanse our hands of it so it's up to you guys let me know in the comments of this video or in my discord which of the following you'd like to see you can either see another episode of marvel spider-man you can see final fantasy 7 remake kingdom hearts 3 pokemon sword or i can do a mystery stream for you guys with a game that we've not played on the channel before so let me know what you think about that and this is a very strange one for me to leave it on but I, I i'm gonna say this if anyone wants to come forward with any experience that has happened to them in this community and they want to be it to be known and they want it to be exposed i will give you the platform to do so my you can use this platform to have that known and I will do what I can 
to give it to people with much bigger platforms who can potentially make your voice more heard. Um, I'm not pressuring anybody to come out and the thing. I think it is the best thing to do, but I understand the mental implications of doing so and there's no judgment here. But if you have been affected by this personally, please know you can contact me either anonymously, don't want it to go public or anything, you don't want people to know about it, that's fine as well. I'm here, I'm here to listen. Um, I really do hope you're all doing okay and I will see you on the next stream. Please take care and be safe out there, guys.